Hey everybody, uh, I am replacing the headliner in my car and uh, with all the uh, how-to videos I watch on YouTube I thought I would uh, make one of my own. So the first thing you have to do is uh, pull down, in, in the case of this 96 Saturn, uh, just kind of yank on these plastic bits right here and the clips uh, just seem to come loose. In the back, there are two pieces of Velcro right there that uh, were, it was a bit of a mystery. I couldn't tell why it was sticking at that point, but I just felt under there and got those loose. Two dome lights were taped into place with, uh, you know, it looks like uh, regular scotch tape. And uh, I just untaped those and I'll, uh, I'll use some scotch tape to put them back up. Here is my old uh, the, the headliner that I'm using, that I, I removed the uh, fabric, which wasn't very hard because it was mostly hanging down, uh, looking like a, you know, maybe a cat had fought for its life uh, in, in uh, the car. And uh, here's the fabric that I am replacing it with. I, I went to, I uh, live in Portland, Oregon, the Pendleton Mill is here, and they were having a sale on uh, this fabric, uh, and I think we'll look pretty nice in there. Search and found that this was the adhesive uh, to use. It was uh, $20 at the local auto parts store, uh, 3M headliner adhesive. And uh, it says to apply three coats, uh, two in one direction across the headliner uh, backing, and one coat in the other direction. And uh, allow it five minutes to dry and uh, go ahead and uh, put the fabric on. So from the YouTube videos I watched, it was recommended that you remove this foam. So I am uh, following that recommendation to get better adhesion. Using a nylon brush, that this uh, wire brush seems to be doing it a bit faster without uh, damaging it. and a lot more satisfying than I thought it would be. Uh, I'm gonna call it good here. So I've laid out the fabric and uh, either I didn't quite measure enough length or the ladies at the mill gypped me an inch or two, but I am really right on it. But luckily uh, the, uh, the edging, the plastic edging should cover this. Now what I'm gonna do is I am going to flip up one side of this, spray one side all the way across and uh, adhere it, and then do the other side. little rips and I'm fixing those with gaffer tape and separated so I'm putting double-sided carpet tape in between the pieces that came up from the seat belts didn't want to come out because this uh, uh, knob had some sort of a proprietary, uh, you know, head underneath that I could not get loose. And they were tripping me up trying to get this back in. So I just tied them together and now they're helping to support the headliner as it goes back in. This panel, it's hard to distinguish which side goes towards the front of the vehicle and which goes towards the back, but there is an F with an arrow on it. So I'm going to guess that that would be the front. So a good time to uh, clean out this light, which uh, it's hard to remove the cover uh, when it's installed. So now I can get underneath and get it loose. Yikes. Brittle plastic clips broke off of the uh, 
or the underside of the light when I applied it, so it's now Velcroed into place. So that's about it. Um, I think this looks great. Um, it's going to be a lot more fun to drive. It took me about two afternoons. Um, I still have the uh, the sun visors to uh, to reupholster. Um, they are as they are now. They're sewn on the edges, and the uh, the card there's cardboard inside, and it is split along here and. Uh, the the thread was sewn through both sides as you can see in this one and the fabric was simply tucked up in these corners here both corners the same way years ago so I might do something a little bit different but uh, it's not sunny for today and probably the next couple days so I'm not too worried about it anyway I hope you enjoyed this video um, and uh, hopefully I'll have more to come for you. Bye-bye.